do something different this morning. The setting of our program takes place in a multi-ethnic barbershop that we call Reality Cuts. <laughs> now, I'm not sure why barbershops and hair salons are the most therapeutic atmospheres for people to talk. I don't know if it's something about ministering to the head that seeps down into our hearts that just makes us feel good about talking about anything. So what the guys in the shop are going to do, they're going to navigate you through a stroll through black history. Now this is a couple of days after the Super Bowl. So the guys are in the shop talking a little trash about football. Come on and join me at Reality Cuts. Now that was a good Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Look, I'm telling you right now, it didn't matter to me. I didn't care nothing about the Giants winning. I just wanted to see a good game. Pops, hold up. You know it's going to be a much better game next year when my Cowboys win it. Oh, no. I told you not to hire him. Let me tell you something. The only reason why I haven't fired him yet is because I just got finished reading Grace Awakening. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make this perfectly clear. The Cowboys, under no circumstances, have any business in the same stadium with the Redskins except out there selling at the concession stands. <laughs> uh, hold on a second, Jeremy. Uh, with your team's record, in a fellow called the Hawks, you guys be better off opening a barbecue joint in Texas. Oh, no, 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 no. Please. The Cowboys, your cheerleaders somewhere take us into your football team. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something, your haircut is on the house today. <laughs> Man, next year, let me tell you, the Eagles gonna be. Oh, the here we go. Man, the Eagles, the Eagles are like your 10 o'clock appointment. They need to show up. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Next year, my team. Oh, hold on a second. Hello? Oh, what's up, baby? See, how you doing? That's what I'm talking about. That's how the Eagles, that's how the Eagles play. Distracted. <laughs> <laughs> on DVD. <laughs> check this out, check this out. So my inventory is BC. BC, BC. for four chap. Good job, good job. Give me some, give me some, give me some. Pops, Pops, what you need is better security in this place. Man, sit down. Look, everybody knows that the Ravens are gonna take it this year. Oh, man, come on. Come on. Ravens. Man, y'all should have got a peanut butter endorsement the way you choked in the playoffs. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you what, your defense is unstoppable. A Homeland Security been looking for your offense for three years. So. <laughs> hey, Jonathan Bell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're doing good. See, I'm just trying to enlighten the brothers on Romans 12, 1 through 2 about renewing their minds about the Redskins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get you tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to be leaving. We're going to close the shop early today because we're going to the DTS Black uh, History Program. All right. Okay, we'll get you tomorrow at 10. And bring you home. You know we like it when you play in the shop. <laughs> God bless you, brother. We love you now. Hey, guys, this might seem a little bit naive, but what's the purpose of Black History Month? Oh, John, that's easy. Black History, it's about our history. No, it's to show the injustice. No, 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 no. See, it's to, uh, to show the gifts and the accomplishments of African Americans. <laughs> Y'all might think I'm crazy. I'm going to tell you what I think it's about. I think it's about bringing unity among all people. Unity? Yeah. I mean, just picture this. I can just see this multi-ethnic, multicultural choir in heaven worshiping God as one. 